Today we're headed off for a new adventure to go fish the beautiful Yellowstone Lake in Yellowstone National Park. This is the first time that I've had the opportunity to fish in Yellowstone or to fish at Yellowstone Lake. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to see the highlight of the trip, a huge trophy Yellowstone Lake cutthroat trout that we were able to catch. Ended up being the last fish of the day, definitely the highlight. So make sure you watch through till the end. So for this trip, we were able to book a guide in the afternoon. On the way up to Yellowstone, uh, we decided that because we had the morning open, we were gonna show up early to the lake and see if we could rent a boat and try our luck at catching some fish on our own. A couple of things. Um, I had never fished this lake before. Luckily, there was one person in our group that had fished it a couple weeks earlier on a guided trip. Uh, so along with the information that he knew that, that they had been fishing deep because of the water temperatures and doing a little quick internet research, we knew that we should probably be targeting fish in about the 30 to 40 foot range um, down deep. And I had brought a, a couple poles with me. We also brought some clip weights. Um, if you click on the link here, you can see my video on how to use clip weights. The thing that we had to do different with these clip weights is in Yellowstone, there's a regulation that you can't use any lead. So I ended up getting some stainless steel clip weights made so we would be within regulation up there. As far as the lake, because I'd never been on it before, I had no idea on the depth. I was able to use the Navionics boating app. And with that, download a map of Yellowstone Lake, and that was able to give us the contour lines. So we were a little bit blind because we didn't have a fish finder to know if there was actually fish under us. But because of the, the tools and the research we had done, um, we had some things in place to, to hopefully catch a couple. Yeah, baby. Way to go, Albot. Do I need a... You, you just keep going normal speed, Reed. Okay. 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 It's a, it's a cut. Oh, it's a cut? Yeah, it's a cut. Hold on, Hold it up in front of me. There you go. So for our morning trip with the boat that we had rented, we ended up catching two fish. Would have definitely loved to catch more fish, but we learned a lot of new things. Um, after talking to some people, 
found that fishing that, especially that day, had been difficult. So we ended up feeling pretty good about the two that we caught. Sometimes it's not all about the quantity of fish, but it's about getting out, learning new things, being with people, building those relationships. It's always a good time to be out on the water. For the second half of the day, we chartered a fishing trip. This service was provided through the park. The guide that we got had been fishing the lake for 40 years. He was very knowledgeable and very experienced. One of the interesting things that he shared with us is that at the high time, he would catch about 2,500 cutthroat in a season. In the recent years, they were only catching 250 cutthroat. Years ago, lake trout had been introduced to Yellowstone Lake. They prey on the native Yellowstone cutthroat and have greatly reduced the population. Cutthroat are essential to the ecosystem in Yellowstone. They feed on the top of the lake and as a result, provide a food source for eagles and other birds of prey. Lake trout primarily live on the bottom of the lake and as a result are not a good food source for birds of prey. They are working to preserve and restore the, the native cutthroat to maintain that important balance in the ecosystem. Because of this, all the cutthroat that are caught must be released. If you catch a lake trout, it must be killed and not returned to the lake. They also have commercial netting efforts in place to reduce the number of lake trout.
this one. Give me the camera, baby. That is a beautiful fish. Yeah, I gotta get a good picture of that. That one looks like the heavy. For the day, we ended up catching eight fish, one lake trout and seven cutthroat trout. These cutthroat trout up in Yellowstone are amazing to catch. They fight hard and are solid muscle. Unlike the, the cutthroat that I'm used to catching in Utah, that don't put up much of a fight and half the time you feel like you're dragging them in. One fun thing that we did is I wanted to throw something new at these fish. So I used my typical kokanee setup with a dodger followed by a soldier sole micro shrimp. We actually ended up catching one fish on this setup using clip weights. So that was a fun, fun thing to be able to accomplish. We had a great trip. Glad we made the drive. It's beautiful up here. If you get a chance and you're in Yellowstone, definitely recommend giving it a go.